Going through breakups are hard at any time, but during this pandemic, it has added a whole new unprecedented level in trying to get over somebody. Because the horrible situation is that, you know, normally through a breakup, you surround yourself with loved ones, you get out, you keep yourself busy, you, you become social, you go to the gym, you keep yourself in shape, you do all these social activities outside of the house and isolating yourself is like a, a recipe for depression, really. Like it's never good to isolate yourself. And, and because of this COVID-19, we've all had to isolate ourselves. And even I know people that are isolated with their families are still struggling with that. I've been talking to a lot of clients about this and they say, well, normally this or normally that. And that's exactly the point. Things aren't normal. When you're stuck alone with your thoughts and missing human interaction and human touch, which is just so important, right? It's so easy to go back and instill like loving thoughts on your ex or even be angry at your ex because they're not there to share this with you and to keep you company during this. But like, it's a really slippery slope that, you know, you're all alone with your thoughts. Try not to let them go to your ex. Or if this whole pandemic, now that we're coming out of it, has made you feel like you have to get your ex back, that they're the love of your life and the only person that you could ever have, then decide now that you're done with that and that you have the ability to go out and meet someone new. And I know it's still in the early stages, but like for lack of a better choice, we tend to go back to what we knew in the past. But I'm talking to so many clients right now who are either dealing with an ex who's trying to get them back or the ex who's trying to get their, their ex back because they're so lonely and they're desperate for human contact. But that doesn't mean that that ex was right for you. And you're doing yourself a disservice by allowing your thoughts to ruminate on what could have been and what you'd like to have again when you don't. And really try hard to write a cons list of all the things that were wrong with that relationship and find the faults and decide that you don't want that relationship. Because we romanticize things for lack of something better. Like I do really think that you never really fall, like you really stop loving someone until you fall for somebody else, or at least are incredibly distracted by somebody else, which is why people love rebounds. Cause you're like, Oh, this is fun. This person's good. And they don't make me think about my ex. So I'll do this for a while, which is all well and good sometimes, but you, you can't do that now because of the pandemic. So try to keep your thoughts in the present and don't look back, don't romanticize all the things that were great about your ex because there were bad things. That's why it didn't work out. And at the very least that your ex didn't want you anymore is reason enough to not want them. So try to be strong. Try to now get out and be social, take walks. If nothing else, get out of the house and be around other people and really do some soul searching and I think you'll recognize you don't really want your ex back. You just want a relationship and you can get yourself out there a little bit more now and get on apps that have allowed video chatting and maybe make a connection that way. Look, we're all lonely. You know, all the single people who don't have somebody are really lonely at this point. So it's a great time to get out and try to interact with other people that are in the same situation with you instead of looking back to an ex who's made your life miserable, right? You don't want somebody who doesn't want you. I'm Donna Barnes. Don't forget to subscribe and like or share my videos or leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you need personalized help, I am available for private coaching.